Hey guys, welcome to the eighth episode of the Coach's Corner. No special guest today. Michael. <laughs> Lonely spot here. I miss you, Michael. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Charlie's a special Charlie guest. A um, so we, uh, we're going to answer your questions that you've sent to us through our Instagram page, Squat Club AU. And uh, we should get into the first question. Number one, I can only train three days per week. If the ultimate goal is for fat loss, what would be the best workout over three days? I'd say full body. Yeah. Yeah. So you're covering the bases in compound movements. Mm -hmm. So like giving your main lifts of a squat, deadlift, bench press, pull ups, or a row. To cover all of them. More compounds your, if you've got three days. Yeah. Mm. Accessories but, after that. Depending on like what days you train too, so if you've got to do three back-to-back -back days or if you can spread it out with like a rest in between each day, so just as long as you're not conflicting like training things back-to-back -back and conflicting mm -hmm. exercises, so but definitely try and get like the compounds in and then yeah, work around what you can with your schedule. Is it just weight training? Or? Well, I was just going to say, like I do a, like 10-15 minutes of conditioning. Yeah, maybe too. a bit of conditioning. If it's, for, if it's for fat loss, obviously you want to maintain muscle mm. and then Maybe do a bit of conditioning. It depends, like what your activity, like what do you do? What do you do if you're just sitting yeah. out of office all day and you're eating not good? Then I'd probably mm. look at that first. Like, yeah, for your yeah, yeah. 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 If you up. just get moving in the day, walk, eat well, and then come in and train and just compounds, build that muscle, or at least retain it, and then maybe get a bit of cardio at the end. I think mm. that's a good starting point. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. I think as well as to make sure that you keep things consistent too. So not constantly changing it every single week, so making some sort of structure um, and looking to try and improve that over time. So whether it's sets, reps, the weight, um, the time that you're doing it in, if you can get a little bit more in that same time frame, a lot of other ways, but over time looking to try and progress that as well. Stick to the basics. And obviously monitor your diet. Yeah, yeah. If the goal is fat loss, we know that nutrition is probably one of the biggest yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, kind of train a bad diet. Yeah, so no, not in three days. Hey, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that jumper, you know? <laughs> Lucky it's winter, yeah, it huh? Is, oh, yeah. The jumper doesn't make, make this last. Well, it's, it's slimming. Slim, isn't it? <laughs> wait, wait until summer. I'll be on this slimming hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get lean in winter. What? That's what I should have said. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, question number two. I'm struggling to see progress. I'm on 2,000 calories and have been on them for the last four weeks, but nothing is moving. Why is this if I've calculated myself in a calorie deficit? This is coming from a male. 2,000 so, calories. Um, well, if they're in a calorie deficit, they're going to be losing body fat. Maybe measuring your food. Yep. And if you're not, then that could mean that when you're actually tracking, you're not tracking correctly. Yeah. Um, that and then I'd also look at your energy output Dang before on. dropping calories mm. or macros down. I always yeah. say, well, if you're on, just say you're on 2,000 calories and you're training the same thing and everything's really consistent and you're not losing body weight, what you're doing isn't really like losing body body fat. So are you in a deficit? Could you want to like change something? You have to change something. If you just keep doing what you're doing, staying at 2,000 and same, and you're staying exactly the same, well, there's a reason you're staying exactly yep. the same. And for four weeks. Been, you mean doing it for four weeks? Yep. Oh, they're four weeks, and you just need to get that fully consistent. Yeah, yeah. 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 stick for a little bit yeah. longer. Yeah. 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 Well, I think going back to what you said as well is, is tracking. So, probably being honest with yourself and make sure that you are tracking the actually correctly, um, because it's one thing saying you might be on 2,000 calories, but are you really consuming 2,000 calories a day? Um, because there's a lot of hidden calories in foods. Um, if you're going out, you know, it's very hard to try and hit the 2,000 calories unless you're completely compliant. Um, so maybe looking to try and tighten things up and actually trying to weigh your foods, like you said. I think the other thing too is actually looking, if you're using my fitness power, sometimes you can add things in, but if you don't actually check the macros, it'll come up as no calories. Mm. So it'll come up or no nutrients. So it'll say it's like 300 calories, but there's actually no protein, carbs or fat levels. Mm. So if you're choosing one of those choices and your calories are hitting, but your macros are actually gonna be out, so which means you'll be overeating. So every time you put something in, make sure that you check and just use it as a guide. Like if you've been tracking for a while, you can use it as a guide to understand that, oh yeah, that would probably have about this like carbs or fats and whatnot. So yeah. that's really important yeah. too. Good answer, yeah. I mean, Great answer. Last part, I think, and, it, and you also gotta be careful if you're putting, um, eating chocolates, like, have you ate my chocolate Easter egg? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I didn't know. 
and she, and she, and she, and she didn't put it into my fitness pal. So if you was eating chocolate and then not putting it in the app, that could really make a difference. Who ate my Easter egg? And my pre-workout treat. And all of Steve's <laughs> pre-workout. Okay, I ate those. I ate Steve's cookies. <laughs> they were for everyone though, that's alright. I didn't eat bloody egg. I can't believe that you don't bring any cookies anymore. Yeah. Hey. He's learned his lesson. <laughs> In the hard way, they leave it out. <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, uh, will cheat meals ruin my progress if I'm having them once per week? Cheat meals. Nah. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. as, as long as it doesn't turn into a cheat day, because yeah. like sometimes and if it's a cheat, cheat day, that can really blow out your macros for yeah. the week and kind of <clears throat> counteract that whole deficit that you've done. And that one day can really push that deficit to not make a deficit anymore. So, mm. yeah, if you're you're controlled with it, I guess. Mm. Yeah. So I probably don't agree with the term cheat meals already because basically if we're, like for us, we, we preach like a flexible dieting lifestyle. So a cheat meal, like, is that a meal that you're not tracking? And if so, if you're not tracking it, the calories of the meal could be quite substantial that then you would blow your weekly calorie deficit too. So, um, you know, if you can be able to track it, and it can fit into your, your daily requirements, then you know, I would call it a, a cheat meal as such, just trying to factor it into your lifestyle. Um, so that's probably, I guess, my outtake on it. As long as it's sitting into your, your calorie deficit, then you're gonna be fine. Yeah, you, should get, you, should, <laughs> you should get to a point where you don't really see anything as a cheat meal. It's just, you know, that's what I feel like having, or it's what the occasion calls yeah. for. You know, unless you're like prepping for a comp or something, where you, Mm. Yeah. If it's yeah. just your day to day life, then mm. you should get, try and get to a point where you're not really seeing anything as cheating. It's mm. just, well, that's I right. Like eating, it's fine. And you gotta say as well is that like there's, there's not one food that's gonna put on body fat. Not one food. And then there's not one food that's gonna make you lose body fat. At the end of the day, it's coming down to calories in versus calories out. But the goal is for fat loss. So factoring in, you know, and spreading it out if you'd like to. Yeah. Not calling it a cheat. Okay, best time to work out, morning or night? It depends on the mm. person. Yeah. Um, if you're if you always train in the afternoon, then you train in the morning, like me this morning. You're gonna fall. You're probably gonna lose a bit of strength. <laughs> there's studies um, on that too. Yeah, there is. So there's likely research. So, but if you already train in the morning and you consistently train in the morning, then you, you'll be sweet. Like it's not like you're better in the afternoon, but what you do and what your body is kind of mm. adapts to. That's the biggest thing. So if you're always training in the morning then that's fine. You're not going to be weaker in the morning than in the afternoon. But if you train in the afternoon, then train in the morning, you probably lose a little bit of strength. Mm. And it's what your body's used to. I think everyone probably has a time that they often will like training. Like, but like mine's the afternoon. I train people early in the morning and that's their time. So it's not... Personal preference. Personal, yeah, it comes down to that. Um, but if you were to train, switch it, you might find a little bit of a difference in your strength levels and the workout itself. Mm. Try try mornings out because there are like a lot of benefits to it. Mm. Like, you like whether you're aware of it or not, it, it, it's an accomplishment that you've got already, and that will have like positive mental and hormonal effects that will have a role in the rest of the day. So, mm. um, it, but in saying that, if I mean if it if it doesn't suit your schedule or yeah. if it affects your sleep, then you know there's nothing wrong with training like whenever you can. Yeah. Like, mm. there, yeah. yeah. So there's no black and white answer. It's just yeah, whatever suits you best. So. Mm. Yeah. Good answers, guys. <laughs> well done. All right, that's going to be it. Does anyone have any songs or dances to do today? Yeah. Oh, I think it's Steve's turn. Steve, do you have a dance? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a dance for us? Yeah. Not no, too sure. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I tried to sing last week. Yeah. <laughs> next week, next week, here we go. Abby's going to be singing for us. Yeah. Next episode, yeah. first. Yeah. If you want. <laughs> Cool. If you guys have questions for our next episode, make sure that you shoot to our Instagram page, Squat Club AU, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Hey. <laughs> oh, peace. <laughs> peace.